Are we on the brink of war with China? Now today I have some international news that may be of interest to you because it's definitely an interest to me. China. As you guys know, we've been having some serious, uh, let's just say, relationship issues with our Eastern brothers. <laughs> and that's being very generous there. But anyways, uh, ever since the COVID started, we have uh, had issue after issue of us calling the U.S. government, specifically Trump, blaming everything on China. Now, that I'm not going to talk about. We're just going to talk about economics because right now China is hurting. They've been some good news with their recovery, but we don't know if it's true. We don't know if the numbers or anything is, is actually truly accurate, but they've been saying that their economy is getting back on track. But we know for a fact that they've been hurt really bad. And when you have an economy, a developing economy that's been hurt this bad, not only with the coronavirus, but with floods and natural disasters and a whole host of uh, other issues, for example, banking and... Okay, let's not get into it, but they, they have some serious issues right now. So they're on the brink of uh, the abyss, okay? So whatever you see on the news, take it with a grain of salt because they want to portray, they want to show that they're doing a good job and they're hanging in there. But from what I see, from what I hear, from what I know, that's far from true. So why is this important? So as we have this relationship issue, this trade issue with China, whatever we do could affect them greatly. So we're hurting right now. So our government is lashing out at other economies, other countries, specifically ones that may not have our best interests uh, aligned. We might not see really eye to eye. And China right now cannot withstand any more economic shocks to the system because if we their biggest trading partner would deliver a, a blow an economic blow now that could really set them back for a decade or more and right now it's interesting because right now the house the u.s house of representatives passed a bill that will force chinese companies to agree to an audit and oversight or be delisted on any u.s exchange this could have some serious issues because right now, even in China, they have very, say, looser audit and accounting standards than we do. But here in the U.S., the optics are that we are a clean, honest, straightforward, more perfect accounting system than anyone in the world. <laughs> that's a whole nother story because that's far from the case. But compared to many other countries, I would say yes if our auditors and financial overseers would peer into these chinese companies uh, i bet you they'll find a lot of lot of a uh, lot of irregularities a lot of things that might kind of raise the red flag and china does not want us any part of u.s government to dive too deep into their company's books all that stuff there's they just do just barely enough when there's a full audit that means they're going to dive deep take all the layers and really see what's going on. And that's something China will not want to do at all. So if we push them to do this and China will push back, there's a possibility that these Chinese companies will be delisted and there could be ramification and negative shockwaves throughout the whole US and Asia and world stock markets that could cause a tumbling, a crash. Also, there could be retaliation tons of tons of retaliation options that china has they have dollars they have tariffs taxes a whole host of different financial weapons that they could use to fight back and slap us like we slapped them so this is going to be very interesting to see because this actually might lead to a tit for tat that will continue to grow and then potentially move from the financial to military since we're talking about internationals and china let's do one more thing because china has influencer operations okay not tiktok even though they could even though they created tiktok even though they're a huge presence in social media they have tons of resources and state controlled teams that control monitor 
they're online, but we're talking about influencers in a different realm. We're talking about power and government and economic influencers. So there is now some reports that China's teams of influencers, China's influencers are coming at Biden. That's right, Biden. So Biden right now, because of all the issues with his, his son, uh, is a little wary. He's very careful right now. But that has not stopped China from going after him and trying to pull those strings from afar because he definitely has close ties to China. We all know that. So this story is developing and I will bring that to you. So if you guys like this international news, international economic updates, and how they connect to us and our economy, please like, subscribe, and comment, and let's grow this channel together, guys. Thank you so much.